anyone who wants to be a clinical psychologist this video is going to be one of the most awaited video of this session of our 2025 right now what you are watching on your screen is the nimhans the applications have started and we'll talk about this thing in complete details what you are watching right now is the prospectus for your 2025 and 26 either you have done masters are you eligible for giving the examination or not we will talk about this thing in complete details so make sure that you watch this video completely till the end okay now first of all we'll be talking about this phd in clinical psychology over there page number 11 and you can download this prospectus from where from the website as well okay or if you have joined in the telegram group i will share over there in the telegram group as well okay now as you can see 14.1 this is your mphil in clinical psychology and mphil in psychiatric social work page number 37 we will jump directly to that and see how things are happening but before that one more thing which is very very important which you would like to know about is this admission notice dated on yesterday dated 2802 and what is given over here is important for you why because we'll talk about this thing online application forms are invited for admission to the following courses under july session of the academic year 2526 so if you qualify this time the examination from july onwards your journey will start for clinical psychology that too in them hands now here we are having seats under institute stipendary category for phd in clinical psychology 6 and over there s70 now we'll talk about this thing where it is now this is mphil in clinical psychology and i will also tell you the importance of this star mark why it is over here so make sure that you watch everything very very carefully now first of all mphil in clinical psychology all india category we are having total number of seats are 32 but for all india category if you are belonging from any of the states of india not from the karnataka you are having 23 allotted for you and if you are having the domicile of karnataka state you are having six seat reserves solely for you unreserved three obc1 and ews1 and for the foreign sponsored category you are having these three seats okay so most of us will not follow this thing but yes you will follow only this thing 23 or 6 either most of you 99.9% .9 of you will be belonging to this category only so we'll talk about that thing and if you are a general from all over india then 10 for you ews3 obc6 sc3 and st1 over here now we will talk about why this star mark because see you can see over here what it is mentioned it is mentioned that 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 the nomenclature of mphil courses is likely to be changed this is very very important the previous video which i have drawn is likely to be changed subject to the approval of government of india but right now what is happening we'll talk about that minimum requirement for admission you can check in the prospectus which we are going to witness right now on our screen and number seconds are the important dates which are very very important for you so first of all we'll go with the dates and then we'll talk about the eligibility for this mphil clinical psychology now date of advertisement of admission notification is 1 3 obviously today start date and end date of submission of online application forms is till 30 31st of march okay so approximately one month you are getting to fill the form okay so let's suppose you are going to fill the form and date of conduct of entrance test at nimhans bengaluru for all courses including mphil clinical psychology as well will be either on 3rd or 4th of may okay 3rd and 4th may 2025 approximately after march you will be having april and may directly almost you are having 60 days over here 31 of this thing 30 of that and just two three days so 61 63 days odd you are having to prepare for your mphil clinical psychology and if you follow our previous videos it will be more easy for you now date of announcement of qualified candidates list for interview no not yours not yours yours will be fall under falling under date of announcement of provisional selection list for of candidates for phd courses 16 5 as well as date of announcement of results for all other courses will be on 16th of may 5 16 5 2025 all right so just in a matter of time of 10 to 11 days your result will be out third and fourth may and just 10 to 12 days your result will be out on 16th of may 2025 okay pretty good so far and date of course commencement is given for different different and one july you can just take on that number and with this we are finished with this pdf as of now and you can read this instructions if you want and everything okay now which is one more thing is important additional information applicants who are awaiting their results may also appear for the entrance test it means if you have if you are having masters and you are in the last semester last year you can appear for the entrance test 
subject to production of proof of having passed the examination on or before the date of admission of course obviously before july you should pass okay now the applicant must have completed the qualifying degree along the final this 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 on the date of admission failing which the candidature will not be considered for admission that is why they have given in the bold marks over here okay now candidates who have this thing this thing no these two were the most important points for you if you are doing your masters and you have not completed still you can give the at this entrance test now this thing similar to the last time as well the last prospectus general guidelines for admission to mphil courses you know why this star mark is there department in which mphil courses are offered department of clinical psychology and department of psychiatric social work okay these, these are the general eligible qualification okay general eligible qualification eligible qualification qualification degree as specified for the course concerned sponsored this thing indian national applicants who are here have been sponsored deputed employees of government of india state government institutions this and this other requirements applicants should have pursued and awarded qualification from an institution university recognized by ugc as applicable now duration of course is your 2 years duration of course is 2 years approximately 25 to 27 now the main question is how will you be selected how will you be selected mode of selection is given over here seats under institute stipendry seats under this thing both of these will include what the entrance test plus verification of original certificates on the day of admission okay so these two things are very very important now one more thing is qualifying percentage i don't know why this is given but still okay qualifying percentage in online entrance test should be 50% for if you belong to for to all these categories and these for the 45% these categories age criteria for eligible qualification as on the day of course commencement is 32 years okay this is very very important for some of you so 32 years if you are under this thing on the day of course commencement you are eligible for that as well now emoluments are given as this 25000 per month plus 15000 as contingency grants per annum then we are having this fees of 24800 approximately 25000 leave is given under institute entitled to 30 days of annual leave and all these things okay now the, the the star mark is important the nomenclature of mphil courses is likely to be changed so you have to adhere to that now mphil in clinical psychology why this is important department of clinical psychology minimum requirements for admission are eligible qualification 2 years masters degree in applied psychology clinical psychology counseling psychological counseling or psychology any of these things if you have done 2 years then you are good to go your 2 years program should be there to apply for this particular thing okay 2 years program and then other requirements are indian national applicants if you belong to this thing you can just read and indian national applicants who are domicile resident of karnataka can also apply under karnataka domicile category so you should obviously apply for this category this under karnataka domicile category head okay and foreign nationals if you are applicants can apply under foreign sponsored category now seats bifurcation is given all india category 23 are there six for the karnataka one and we have also discussed about this thing okay program of study it is the matter of the last thing not right now and awards and all those things which are not your concern right now what is your concern your concern is nimhans 2025 we'll just brief quickly the important dates and all those things okay now first of all you can fill the form till 31st of march okay the last date is 31st of march so make sure that you fill your application form before that now the date of exam is date of exam make sure that you take the screenshot of this thing so that it will keep you reminded again and again either 3rd or 4th of may it can fall on any day 3rd or 4th of may of your 2025 now course will commence around your july okay july thing course will commence around july and talking about your eligibility eligibility is your 2 years of masters should be there 2 years of masters and if you are in the last sem last year then also you can appear for this particular examination of nemans 2025 now star mark over here as well nomenclature is likely to be changed but as of now that is not the concern the concern is you are having the exam approximately 31 plus 30 plus 2 gives you 32 plus 31 around 64 days approximately 64 63 days you are having to prepare for your mphil clinical psychology entrance exam of nimhans 2025 okay 
so this was the important update right now the most awaited video of 2025 if you are from the clinical psychology background obviously you would want to have admission over here and rest all is as it is you are having if you belong to all over india you are having 23 seats allotted for you based on your categories and six for the karnataka domicile students okay all right now the most important thing is the online application form fee mode of payment okay now if you are indian national and this 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 thing you are having 1500 per course so you can apply from multiple courses as well but 1500 for per course the fees is like that now fees for the courses emoluments reservations of seats or for, co or for courses offered okay whatever it is now age limit the age is calculated as on 172025 for july session the age limit for different courses are indicated that is not your concern still but main thing was there what that was that was the fees of your 1500 rupees okay 1500 rupees make sure that you fill this thing before 31st of march and you apply for nemans 2025 and have a good and great examination make sure that out of 23 out of those seats you are getting your over there okay all right with this we will finish this video the everything is included if i have missed on anything make sure that you comment down below if i if i might have missed on anything then we can talk about that in the next video now talking about how to prepare you can watch our previous videos if you follow those videos mphil enhance 2025 will be more easy for you this time okay Make sure that you watch everything is free and free and full preparation that complete guide. Make sure that you watch that and wish you all the very best for the upcoming examination of NIMHANS 2025. Okay. Now one more query is you will not find the PYQs of this thing which is very very important. You will not, never find the PYQs of the previous year questions of NIMHANS exam. But 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 you what you can do is you can practice for other exams like CIP like RIN pass like JEP pass and like all those exams. MPhil exams are happening. On those same lines in and in or around the exam of mphil nemans is also conducted so it will be more easy for you to prepare well for the mphil clinical psychology entrance examination of your nemans 2025 don't worry don't need to panic that you are not getting the pyqs it is not available anywhere so make sure that you and if it's available with you as nemans pyq it's very good for you but they don't provide this thing if you go for this type of examination you will get to know that there is no single PYQ that you will take out of that arena okay apart from what you can remind or what you can remember okay all right so wish you all the very best see you all in the next video till then goodbye take care and the forms are out make sure that you fill that and one more important thing if you want to have some previous years of previous years of mphil clinical psychology examination make sure that you join the telegram channel from the link first link given in the description and see you there in telegram